Hey guys, Lady Lee here from Lady Lee's Home and today I want to share with you my new um, raised bed garden. I received these boards, these are old decking boards I received from a friend and I sanded them and painted them. Um, you can use natural paints. Um, I use these boards simply because they were free. Uh, there are better, healthier ways to um, incorporate or build raised beds from, um, from wood. But I've done it before and it worked pretty well for me. So since they were free, these are what I, I'm using. Um, next, we marked the angle iron, which is going to hold the frames together. Um, and I, the boards are about six inches, and I am cutting this angle iron for about seven inches, piece, seven inch pieces. Um, so then I have one inch that will kind of go in the ground, and will hold the beds in place. Once the pieces are cut, um, the next step is to mark the center of each side of the uh, angle iron and to mark where I want my holes to put the bolts that will hold the wood to it. One thing that I totally forgot to do and I do recommend is to paint the angle iron so um, just to protect it from rust and stuff like that um, so now I'm basically marking where I want my holes to go and the next thing that we've done is drilling the holes um, we started drilling the holes with uh, just a regular drill with a metal drill bit but this uh, proved to be very difficult and took forever to just do a couple pieces so what we ended up doing here and i really recommend doing that is just uh, we, i don't have a drill press but i have a friend that has a drill press and he just ended up taking them over to his place and making all the holes for me because to do it with a handheld drill really took way too long and was really hard to do Connecting the angle um, iron to the beds is uh, pretty simple, just a matter of placing it in the corners and I do always drill a pilot hole where the holes in the iron already are, just a pilot hole in the wood so um, I make sure that my screws go in straight and um, pretty much placing the screws in there and or the bolts and um, screwing them down.
frames are all done um, I am just moving them around placing them where I want um, take into consideration maybe you want to have a wider walkway in some places maybe you want to have an axis with a wheelbarrow between the beds in some places um, I'm using on most of my beds some sort of um, growing extension either um, frost fabric or greenhouse plastic so sometimes i need some extra room for that so these are just kind of points on um, things to consider then i just take a piece of wood and hammer the corners down i have this one inch extra that is kind of going into the ground to hold the beds in place Filling the beds is uh, done with three layers, or that's at least how I do it. First, I am placing cardboard on the bottom just to kind of uh, give a little bit of a barrier so the grass and weeds don't come up from under there. The next step that you'll see me do here is um, using um, a wheat straw just as a layer. It is great for growing anything the plants love it it decomposes and become compost and it is saving me a little bit of um, soil because especially in the first year you know to fill these beds with all all of it with soil is going to take a lot of soil so the straw has some volume to it and it will decompose so next year i will have to um, add another layer of compost or uh, garden soil on top but for now it saves me a little bit of money up front and a little bit of work too so the straw goes in really quickly and fills the bed very well uh, for the final layer I use composted horse manure that I received from a friend and it's been sitting for about an, a year or two so it should be pretty um, well composted by now uh, and this is what I'm going to plant directly into thing I haven't done yet in this garden is drip irrigation and hopefully I will have a video for that um, in a little while but other than that this garden is ready for planting and over there in that bed there's already parsley and cilantro I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one